Attention, please. The show starts in three, two, one. Welcome, welcome back guys to another segment of Let's Chat. This is the one show that two men chill and have a conversation, having a smoke and talk about those deeper conversations that are happening each and every day in our society. Joining me today on the show Let's Chat is my brother, Sibonise, the one and only. My brother, nice, bright and honor, you know that, you being on the show, it's an amazing honor because you and I always have this big, amazing conversation, so you now being here, on this show, it means a lot. Yeah. We share a lot and we talk about so much. Welcome to the show, my brother. Thank you. And yo, <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> again, again, I need to. I need to. You know why, guys? Because when he said, uh, every time when he comes through, we talk like deep matters. He teaches me also more stuff about being man, manhood, like real stuff. Because him being here today, we're discussing one important matter, which is fatherhood. You know, so when he said, is one of those gents amongst all of us the gents that chill around here who was raised by his father like from a young age up to being a man so when he comes to us when you ask we are having a view of being a man he can be able to enlighten us in another vision of what is being a man that's one more important thing that i've mattered in my life you every time i have a conversation i'll be having a view of what i was taught growing up is a man but when you come to another dude when I check it out you're a man it works like da 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 yeah. man it's like a connection it's like a connection and you were raised with the father yeah. how was it growing up with your father bro uh, it was nice it was amazing uh -huh. But you know, when you're young, man, it's like um, you don't understand some other things when they happen. When they happen, uh, you just have to understand them when you get old. Like, uh, yeah. This is what he was teaching me all this time. Mm. So it's like everything coming to realization. Like, right? oh shit. So when was the time that you separated like with your mom and went to stay only with your dad? When was the time that you and you started staying with your dad 24-7? I never stayed with both of my parents. Never? Never. Never. Because he... Mm -hmm. So, because I was raised by a grandmother, so she mm -hmm. passed away. Also, I was also raised by my grandmother. Yeah, mm -hmm. so she passed away. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to my father and stayed with my father. So that's where the whole thing started. Then. Yeah, that's where the, whole, the, the real thing started. Yeah. But yeah, because you see, uh, most of so many boys that come here, like, we chill, we, so we have a good, big community of, of young men. But most of the men that come through, they've been raised like with their mom, their grandmother. A few of them have been raised with their dad. A few of them, they're actually learning to be a man like is their goal. If most of them like they're just like, ah, yo, man, they're just figuring out what they think they know about being a man. Some of them, yeah. they're taking from TV, from whatever. So you as an ex your experience with your dad, right? Now, what is your, what was your relationship, let's say, when you were 10, 13? What was your relationship with your dad? Let's see what uh, you never How got together, dog. Huh? We were like enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you thought like he, 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 he was an enemy yeah. to you? I thought he was like fighting with uh -huh. Because like, mm -hmm. I never understood some other things that that is that is teach I was still young. So like for example, like just to pick me up for like small things. Like, for example, if maybe I can finish this water, knowing very well that everybody in the house drink this water. Yes. So it's a problem. So I have to talk before the water was finished. Hey, yo, the water is finished. Ah, oh, so it was, it was indirectly teaching you responsibility to check in the house what's missing, what's. The, ah! Even if you're not buying it, but uh -huh. you were learning to know that, okay, I have to say something or do something about it. Something is finished. Okay, okay. It's acting. It's acting. Uh, to the situation that you're facing now, because at the end, if the water is finished, what the fuck are we going to drink? Yes. What are we going to drink? The responsibility, the needs, the things yeah. that we need to really... Yes. We, we must not wait for them to get finished. Uh, speak out before it you know, gets to that point. So what, 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 can you still remember one day that they say your dad like beat you down, beat you up? <laughs> what, what did you do that day? Can you still remember that one day that you still remember that yo, the day I'm a diamond who shall feel it, dog. That was the day, like. Okay, like, okay. I had like an older boy. Uh -huh. Like that time I used to play football. So what happened is, like that nigga would come to me and chill. Like okay, that nigga was a little bit like um, 
most at that time. But he was older than me. He was going through the most. Uh -huh. So like, he never had food, like uh, clothes and stuff. So I used to give him my old clothes. Uh -huh. you know, like, yes. So he would share my clothes with me and something. So my dad found out. No. And at the same time, I do that thing on my phone. Uh -huh. So, no. But it was serious, but that time he was not using the belt. Uh, the whole was like feast. Yes. Was that now for now? I'm now you're grown now. Yeah, Let's go man to man. Let's show you. <laughs> you're dead now. You got responsibility. You know what now? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yeah. Uh, like, I escaped quick. Uh, out. Out. I ran away. <laughs> Yo. Because I, I, I grew up with my grandmother, you know, so I never had like an experience with my grandfather passed on when I was young. I didn't forget that experience of having a father getting to beat down. My grandmother, my grandfather like, never beat down. So I was actually being beaten by my grandmother most of my time, you know. So I didn't really understand how you are just like, you're going feast, yo. That's some, that's some, that's some real thing. I was afraid, though, to uh, even fight Fight back, you can't, though. I can't fight back, too. Yeah. Yeah. I can't be raised by this on him because the fight is going to get intense, way tense than it is now. So your dad, when he was staying with you, he had a wife. Yeah, a wife, stepmom. Step How was it growing up with a stepmom? How was it for you? Nice. What was the experience? Nice. 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 Because you know what? You're only one percent, I guess, amongst the viewers that are watching. You may be one percent of person that are like, I grew up with my stepmom. And my stepmom, it was nice. My stepmom was cool. Wow, what made your stepmom cool? Or what made your relationship with your stepmom cool? Because I was willing to learn from her and I was uh -huh. willing to respect her. You were respecting her, you took her as a mom. Yeah. You know, it's because of why I never yeah. had like, uh, the relationship with both parents. Uh -huh. So I was giving myself another chance. And that one parent that you have at that moment, you have to be impressed that yes. at that time that you have. Uh, I see that on, I see that on. So what so so the, the, the message you can give to someone right there who is watching, maybe he's young, and he's staying with the stepmom, is you gotta respect your stepmom, you gotta give you your don't step parents know like you can yes, a chance to respect them. Something. Chance uh, something. Yeah bro. Okay, I see. So, okay, hustling. So let's go into hustling, right? You're staying with your dad, you're grown, and told me you're going on to your 60s and all of that. You're growing, you're bringing with your man. Really? So, I want to know what brought you into hustle. Was there, there was your, did your dad teach you the hustle? Did your dad teach you how to go out in the world and look out for yourself? Did your dad prepare you for the world out there? Because, you know, it's crazy. I can say it now. He mm -hmm. did. You did? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Back then, mm -hmm. talk about it to hustling. He used to tell me like uh, if you stay in this year, uh, I'm gonna buy you sweets, I'm gonna buy you cake and then you're gonna sell for the whole year. Yes. And you're gonna buy yourself some clothes and stuff. But I never took that seriously mm -hmm. until it came to me as a decision. Yes. As a decision. Because I was like uh, never give me that. What age did you live? What age did you live in the house? Eighteen. Eighteen. What did you just say? Just look at me. Revive. Then he's smiling. Where are you going? Where are you going? You go. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm going to chill with mom. So eh. You start the car. Are you ready? Yeah. You got the clothes packed. I was like, yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go and kill it. Let's go. Okay. So when you first came into the grind, right? You first came into the grind. Um, you ever seen the Were there times that you ever thought of, I need to go back to my dad? No, these things are tough. Or yeah. were there times that you were like, oh, this lesson that I'm getting here, this was my dad was trying to teach me that time. Yeah, because we do those times. Yeah, it gets to that point because like sometimes you might think that you would need the knowledge now, yes. but you don't know what you're preparing for later. Later. Yeah. Because when you're there later on, you know, you're doing what you gotta do. Uh, then coming, coming across problems, uh, it, it gets hard to ask the street. But you know somebody who could help you in this situation at this moment. That you what know right now. Yeah. And you know that person. So what did you like to say by yourself? Like be used, do everything by yourself. And, uh, like everything. You don't need anyone to take care of you. What was that type that you were ready? I started at school. High school. High school. High school. High school. High school. High school, high school, because yeah. in high school, dog, I used to buy myself some shoes, some uh -huh. clothes, everything. Like that. Uniform, you used to make sure you had the good okay, uniform. My dad would buy, but uh -huh. clothes and stuff. Uh -huh. Sweet, like in the room, too, you know? uh, cut your head. Uh, no, nah. crazy experience. Crazy, crazy experience. experience. That time, I used to like um, sell cakes and stuff. Uh huh. You have to. 
Yes, you can. Ah, I need to say something. I knew that the school had, had more people, more people in the school. And school most of them, them, like, yeah, and all of, all of them, like, most they have one. Yes, they, they're ready to spend. They're ready to spend. What is being a man okay in your perspective in your own view? What is being a man? What is being a real man? What is being a man? What is being a man man man? What is being a man? And standing up for yourself. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you are. Fight for who you are. Because at the end, what people see in you, mm -hmm. it's what the, uh, the type of perspective you oh, have. Yes. So, if you are strong enough to stand up for yourself so, so. and let them know that it's uh, yes. me. I love them. It's like that. Uh, it's being you, hearing yourself. It's being, being you and learning to uh, like, Know yourself better. Know yourself better. Standing up yeah. for yourself yeah. and knowing what you want. Yeah. What? Believing in it. Yeah. Believing in it. Okay. Last question. Last question. Last question. We have to close this show. Boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are on set. See, you guys, we are on set, and it's a cut. It's a time, and then time that you have to subscribe. You know, then you have to ring that bell. And since you're enjoying this father on session, you know what you do? You have to like that video. So to close up the show, let's just close it up. So how can we close it up now? I'm gonna ask you an important question. There are so many young men, so many young men that grew up without fathers. So what is the message that you can give? What is the kind of maybe advice that you can give? What would you say to that young man that can encourage him, that can make him believe and become a better man in this world today when he grew up without a father? You had a father. What can you share to him? Just learn to understand. Don't just uh, fight just because it's a fight. Understand why is that fight brought to you because it's a fight. If somebody is teaching you something, you might not use it now, but later on, you might need it. So, in short, like, if you grow up without a father, man, like, give people a chance to educate you. Educate you. Men, we are men who, you know, what also you don't know about being a man, and what you don't know about uh, you as a man, the, the, the type of job that you need to, to do in the world. Yeah. Uh, knowing yourself, learning from other men, yeah, being willing to learn. Because, <laughs> because uh, sometimes you're not all <laughs> yes. Everybody has their doubts, everybody can be wrong and right, but you just need to take what is right, what you think is right for you, you need to take it. Yeah, take what is right, learn from other men, be willing to learn and grow. Okay, last thing, I want you to tell everybody, this is your shot, this is your moment, when you tell everybody, about you, your Insta handle, what's going on, if you have music going on, where they can find your music, because I know you do music, where they can find you, what you're all about, your visions, your passion, what are you here to do in the world, support time, you tell everybody about you. Yeah, it's a short. Hi, um, I'm Spoon Nise, stage name go by the name of Smokey, so you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, it's Smokey the GDG. Check out my music. Yeah. Tell me if you like it. Tell us, go down in the music and check out Smokey G. And that was it today on Let's Chat. This is the segment that we talk about real men stuff on a smoke session. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Look at this content. This amazing content coming your way. Thank you, brother Spoonie, for being on the show. That was very amazing. You know what I mean? This show is one of the best shows because fatherhood is what matters. I'll see you in the next one. Boom, boom. Boom, boom! <laughs> so, look how amazing you are.